Here's problem 2811. What is the rate at which thermal energy is generated in the 30 ohm resistor shown? Key here is what they mean by the rate of thermal energy generated. If you think of the rate of anything, that is something per time. So if you're thinking energy per time, you are thinking power. Because power is energy per time. So if we're thinking power in particular in a circuit like this, we are looking for I squared R or V squared over R. So we need to find either the current or the voltage in that 30 ohm resistor. All right, that's what we need to do. Now if we look at this circuit, we can actually see that um, it's, it's kind of weird with the, with the resistor going down the diagonal like that. What we can do is kind of bend the circuit see if I can get this, bend the circuit in this location and bend it here and just bend the wires um, not really adding any resistance or anything and we can rewrite the circuit to look something like this we have a 30 volt battery over here and then we have a 30 ohm resistor in the middle and then two resistors on the end which is 10 and 5 ohms and then we have a 5 ohm resistor over here and you should uh, you should verify t for yourself that this is indeed the same circuit so we're going to simplify the circuit a little bit add these two together get 15 ohms and now our 15 ohms is in parallel with the 30 and our parallel is product over the sum for two of them so we have 30 times 15 over 30 plus 15 which will give us 450 divided by 45 or 10 ohms alright so this circuit now looks like this we have a 30 volt battery we have 10 ohms over here and we have 5 ohms down below adding these series combination together it's 15 ohms so now our final circuit looks like this 30 volts across 15 ohms that's our equivalent resistance okay nice to know I always want to know that. So, what should we do next? Well, we can find the uh, current coming out of the battery. That current is the voltage of the battery divided by the equivalent resistance. So that would be 30 volts divided by 15 ohms or 2 amps. So we've got the 2 amps coming out of the battery in any representation we choose. In particular, if I look at this representation over here with two amps coming out of the battery I'm going to have two amps going through that 10 ohm resistor and so the voltage on that 10 ohms is going to equal current times resistance two amps times 10 ohms is 20 volts however things in parallel have the same voltage and they have the same voltage as their equivalent device. In other words, this 10 ohms is connected between these two points right here, which would be the same two points in this earlier representation of the circuit, where we have the 30 in parallel with the 15. In other words, the 30 will have 10, 20 volts across it, the 15 will have 20 volts across it, exactly the same as their equivalent 10 ohm resistor uh, which is connected between the two points. Things in parallel have the same voltage as their equivalent device. So that means that the voltage of the 30 ohms is also 20 volts. If I want to find the power in the 30 ohm resistor, the power would equal its voltage squared over its resistance, which would be 20 volts squared over 
30 ohms, which is 400 divided by 30, when the zeros cancel out. So that's 40 divided by 3, or 13.3 <coughs> <three, coughs> watts. So I have 13.3 watts dissipated in this 30 ohm resistor in the middle, and that is the answer we want, 13.3 watts.